What's up, dude? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm just going to jump right into the video that I have for you today. Day. I was hoping to get it out yesterday, but I'm kind of glad that I waited until today because more has developed within this story. Now, today's video is going to be very short because this is a local crime that has happened. Ross Petrie is a 28-year-old man living in Williston, North Dakota. North Dakota gang, where are you guys at? <laughs> so police seized nearly 1,500 pounds of explosives from his townhome on October 12th. He's accused of setting up an explosive, explosives manufacturing operation in his garage. 10 people were evacuated from the building that Ross's townhome was located in. The building is planned to stay empty until the police search, search the area and make sure it's safe for residents to return. As far as I know, they have been returned back into their homes now. It's been deemed safe. The police were tipped off to a narcotics lab that could possibly be in operation in the building. Search warrants started being served to Ross on October 10th because he was suspected to be the resident with the narcotics lab. When his townhome was searched, they found all of the explosives. The materials would have had catastrophic consequences for the entire complex. And honestly, I'm pretty sure it would have been even worse than just the complex. It would have hurt the surrounding area. Two different labs have been identified in the apartment by the Williston Police Department, according to Maddie Davis at the Williston Herald. In the affidavit, it says the Minot Bomb Squad observed fireworks consisting of 5 inch, 6 inch, and 9 inch diameter mortar shelves inside the garage area of the resident. So the statement was again taken from the Williston Herald article. Ross had been served an administrative game and fish violation for possessing and or slash discharging fireworks on a wildlife management area. Other than that, his record consists of a speeding ticket, so he had no really big previous crimes that he had committed. Trial is set for February 13th of 2023, so we have a while to wait. He was released today, like at the time of this video coming out, on a $100,000 bond. So to give some perspective, the Boston Marathon bomber had three pounds of black powder from fireworks, which experts say was enough to build one of the two pressure cooker bombs he triggered at the marathon. So in all, he probably used about six pounds of the black powder altogether in the two bombs that he had made. The explosives that were made up are being set off in the Williston landfill. Now this, I don't totally know if that's true. I've just heard it from people around town that that's where they're being set off at. So don't take that as fact, please. Um, so they've been set off by the Williston Police Department, Bismarck Bomb Squad, and the Minot Bomb Squad. And I also heard that possibly the National Guard was helping with it too. Like I'm sure their bomb explosives unit is probably helping. Again, that I don't know if it's fact or not. Some of Williston's streets were closed sporadically this week while the explosives were being transported to the detonation site. So they were being very, very, very careful with the explosives because 